So the King's Plate's got a purse of $1 million. I want to try and get a million dollar ticket. Mm. Might be wishful thinking. Jeff Brown and Robert Geller with you. But one way to maybe do that is to play the pick six, which does have the mandatory payout on King's Plate Day. We're going to start things off in a race number eight, this being the King Eddie. Now, initially, I thought about Cruden Bay and Phil de Ariana, but this is why I love working with you because you want to toss in some price plays in this I want to toss in the price play. And Wicked Django, this horse is running really well to Paramount Prince, who's not in the race. And I think that first lifetime start showed he really can handle turf. I expect a big run from a big price player in Wicked Django. I think one of the more intriguing races on the program goes as race number nine. It's on the inside turf course on a mile at 16th with a field of 12. Oh, it's wide open, but what a great run Ron's Gizmo was last start, circling the field and coming in for a head bob second, and is so much better suited on turf. We're both believers of Bullet in the next race. Love Bullet. This is the most impressive win of all season. I expect Bullet to be the single of the day. And the King's Plate, we're going to keep it simple. Our two top picks. You like Raph Rue, I like Essex Serpents. Yeah, I think they're both on the rise. They are lightly raced horses. Watch out for both of them. The Woodbine Turf Endurance Series. I love these races, and we're going to use a whole bunch in this race. I think we should, because Journeyman's very honest, has Reliable form. I thought that really elusive night. Pat sewing machine come into this race with chances. If we're alive into the last race, could you imagine? Alive onto a key, and our key in that last race is going to be the number five, that being Xena Swift. Why do you like this horse? Well, I think this horse is in the right level and had a couple of races earlier that were really eye catching. And I just feel that Steve Owens has got this horse ready for this particular race. There we go. It's the pick six, which has a mandatory payout on King's Plate. There goes his race number eight. And we wish you all the best of luck.